Miles coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. The Vice team tracks down a race car driver that kills a prostitute in the very fast episode titled Florence, Italy. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from February 3rd to February 15th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on February 7th, a snap election was held between Corazon Aquino and President Ferdinand Marcos for President of the Philippines. The election was marred by fraud, with Marcos being named the winner on February 15th. By February 22nd, many viewed Marcos's win dubious and withdrew their support, leading for Aquino to become the first woman president. In sports, on February 8th, the NBA Slam Dunk Contest included two Atlanta Hawks teammates facing off for the title. The 6'8 Dominique Wilkins, the winner of the 1985 contest, was rocked by the five foot seven inch champion Spud Webb. Some might say Spud Webb received extra points for degree of difficulty, but it's obvious he's the greatest dunker of all time. In music, for one more week, What Friends Are For is still number one on the Hot 100. At number two is the excellent When the Going Gets Tough, the Tough Get Going from English singer Billy Ocean. The song was the theme for the film The Jewel of the Nile, released on the album of the same name in Ocean's own album, Love Zone. It was a fantastic success. The music video even included Kathleen Turner, Danny DeVito, and Michael Douglas lip-syncing the backup vocals. In movies, supplanting the color purple at the top of the box office is the comedy Down and Out in Beverly Hills. The film is about a dysfunctional rich couple who saved the life of a homeless man. Starring Nick Nolte, Bette Midler, and Richard Dreyfuss, I don't have much to say about this movie. The color purple is a far superior film and deserved to hold the top spot for at least one more week. Down and Out will be number one for four weeks, but I'll give you something to look forward to. By the time we get to the end of Down and Out's run, Pretty in Pink will move into the top spot. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.